never defeat Andros! Hey guys, and uh, welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. Another day and another Nintendo 64 core update by Robert Pipe. The guy is just unstoppable. Is he like a machine? I mean, I do videos on it and I can't keep up. The guy is just putting out like a new update to the core and there's no complaints on that because it really is becoming something super special from something special to something super special so here we're looking at Star Fox now this is the reason I'm looking at this game is because we've looked at this game many many times and if you've been following the progress updates I've been putting out on the channel all of a sudden you see wow we can actually see around the level because you remember we had kind of like just uh, black shapes before and and you know we were trying to work our way up but we couldn't see everything properly we couldn't see the enemies properly we couldn't see the levels properly and then the R wing and the other ships in there they were like black shapes but you could see the windows but then you couldn't see the rest of the level well now you can pretty much see everything and uh, I haven't played this game for years I played it on the N64 then I played it again I think on the 3DS when it was re-released and if you haven't played it on the 3DS I really liked it on there the 3D just looks really really good and uh, just playing it again now it was just nice because I think when you go through all these uh, little bits here uh, Balco takes you over to a shortcut but my memory is kind of hasty I remember uh, I remember this game I played this game a lot but man when it when it comes to it now I don't remember everything so I guess guess maybe it's my subconscious uh, kind of taking over but uh, just have a look at the updates the updates are mainly to do with new uh, or new addition or additional changes uh, to the reality display process so they're up on screen now so feel free to pause it and check everything out I'm not going to read them out but guys oh yeah that's the shortcut I was talking about so I think like Falco takes me through a shortcut if i can do some good flying but guys like this is good like i had fun playing this for the video and i kind of wanted to play more but I, I spent so much time doing videos i spent a long time doing my news video earlier and n64 has been keeping me busy i mean i've got other videos i want to do but then robert just drops a new call and i'm like okay i need to do this because if i don't do this another one will come out so if i film something it needs to go instantly but guys look how good star fox is looking we're going to have a look at uh, a few other games uh, a selection uh of some many games at work a few that kind of get further into game and hang so guys uh, if you like this kind of content then a subscription and i like it super appreciated uh let's look at some other games okay guys so here we have uh turok the dinosaur hunter and i prefer the japanese game which i think is something like violence killer the dinosaur hunter i can't remember exactly what it was but the japanese name is a lot cooler for this game now uh, pardon pardon me looking up and down but remember when n64 was around with first person shooters there wasn't a standard for controls it was all very unconventional but here is turok it's running now i tried this a couple of times and it crashed for me so i don't know if your mileage is going to vary, uh, vary on this if maybe some people are getting further than when i got but for me i I kind of got to the beginning part i managed to like uh kill one guy but then uh then it kind of just it just kind of crashed on me but uh this is an interesting game i can't remember which turok it was i really really liked it might have been turok 2 i didn't actually try it in this video run i only tried number one but it's running and it's looking decent uh but it does crash a little bit further down so let's move over to the next game while we have some happy memories of this game hey guys mario kart can you believe your eyes guys the black boxes are gone and uh when i first played this i had to get used to playing mario kart without the boxes and guys like mind blown just look how good it looks like would you believe this is a work in progress call and i think the only reason it's a work in progress call now is because well there's a bunch of other games that don't run as well as mario kart and some of the other titles out there but guys this is banging have a look at this picture on screen now so this is something a friend of the channel nico clem uh, posted on the discord earlier so i asked him permission i said can i use this in a video and he agreed but that's the two pictures comparing the screenshots of the n64 at the top and the mister at the bottom and the only thing that's missing from the mister currently is filtering no doubt no doubt that will get added later but there you go i mean it still looks absolutely great to me the way it is now like i would be happy playing this mario kart it is just such it is in just such such a great place now and honestly guys like i mean just have a look at it everything is there i can't i can't see anything missing but hey i'm an untrained i i have uh, i've been playing mario kart i've been playing it more on this so 
it's been a while since I've actually played it on a Nintendo 64. I've actually got a Nintendo 64 like around my friend's house. Uh, my friend's house who never sells his old machines. It's around his house. It's down the road. He lives out of the country. He lives in Serbia. But uh, I did say to him, can I pick up your Nintendo 64 for a project to, uh, to check? I'm not sure if I'm going to do that now or not. But uh, I mean, just look how good Mario Kart looks. Like the graphics are fully complete as far as I can tell. And uh, the boxes are gone. And if you have a look at the other little screen up there, look, I can see Mario on there. It looks accurate to what's on the screen. Now, fair enough, when I had my Nintendo 64, when I played the Nintendo 64, I never looked at that screen and compared stuff. But when I'm looking at it here, I can see Mario. I saw the three shells floating around Mario. And guys, this is really, really good. And if you're not trying this out, then try it out. There'll be a link to the FPGA uh, FPGA Discord, uh, the Mr. FPGA Discord in the de in the description of the video. Be sure to check that out. I've got a tutorial, a couple of videos back. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. You can get this up and running. And if you really want to play Mario Kart, well, you can play Mario Kart. Okay guys, if you suffer from motion sickness, then I apologize because uh, I'm flying around all over the place and in fact when I was playing it, I was like moving my body, moving my head around while I was flying around. So this is, this isn't Rogue Squadron, this is Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. I did try Rogue Squadron straight after this because I was like, I was like hey, I got one Star Wars, let me play one of my favorite Star Wars games out there. Uh, Rogue Squadron that didn't work but Shadows of the Empire did it didn't crash on me I played it for as long as I wanted to play it and uh, guys it's, it's a bit finicky like going back to some of these controls it's just a little bit hard I'm not completely used to it but you gotta check this out okay so I didn't do the best job of it to be honest I didn't even know what the buttons were like I was messing around pressing stuff but guys you remember harpooning the Atta? Like one of the greatest Star Wars scenes, man. Like Empire Strikes Back is like, it's an epic movie. I mean, I know a lot of people consider it the best one. My one was Return of the Jedi, but you the Battle of Hoth is like one of the best battles. I mean, I've seen that movie so much. I felt like I was part of that battle and now I feel like I belong. And I managed to harpoon an AT and Atta. That's it. The, the two-legged one the, it was the AT-ST. This one is the AT-80, the Atta. And I got it. I harpooned, harpooned, harpooned around it. I managed to get around. Felt like I was going around for ages, but guys, I managed to take it down. So if you want to play Star Wars Shadows of the Empire, damn, it's working and it's working fine. So Wipeout is something that we had a look at in, in, a, in, in a few videos. So first we had like none of the track, we couldn't see our ship, we could just see some effects and some outlines. Then we could see a little bit more of the graphics, like in yesterday's one, but there were some gaps in the lines. Now we can see the graphics good, the game looks good. Unfortunately it kept crashing for me at certain points. Sometimes it crashed as soon as the race began, sometimes it crashed part of the way through the game, but this is crashing for me. But even though it's crashing, look how good it looks. Okay, so I wanted to try something a little different, and this is Toy Story 2, and guys, this did not crash. It played for as long as I wanted to play it. Now, it's not really my cup of tea. It's not really my game. I can't ever, imag uh, ever imagine playing that game unless I was like a kid. I'm talking like five or six years old, and I was really into Toy Story, or Toy Story 2 in this case, and all of a sudden, I get to P it B, is it? It's but Buzz Lightyear, isn't it? To infinity and beyond, and I can control it. And I have to say, the controls aren't actually bad for this game. You, you use the C buttons to kind of move it left and right, which is good camera control. And I'm actually using like that cheap 10 pound wired N64 controller I bought, and uh, I will be releasing a view on it, but just a quick one, the analog stick, when you're playing a game with analog, analog stick, it's actually Actually okay I don't have any issues with the controller but this is Toy Story 2 guys this looks I can't see anything wrong with this game it's not like I know this game inside out but just looking at it and looking at what it looks like it just looks it just looks absolutely fine guys like absolutely like it looks superb honestly can't believe how far this core has come how quick Robert is making progress and and guys like there's Robert's Patreon link in the description uh, of this video so do check that out uh, you know even though he's releasing all these working uh, work in progress calls for free uh, he could be paywalling them he's not and he's a cool guy for not doing that but you know if you do join his Patreon you get an insight you get some in-depth articles about the production and his journey uh, and his journey while making this call and other calls uh, really nice guy uh, but yeah like Toy Story looks 
looks good and if this is the game or if this is a game that you played growing up and you want to play it again you can play it right now on the court and guys it, it didn't crash on me i must have had it running for about 15 minutes while doing this video even though you're not going to see all the, all the footage it runs good is it a bird is it a plane no it's superman and now he's looking a little bit better there's a bit more color to him this is a really bad game i wish if i had some kryptonite so i could just kill him so i don't even have to play that much of the game uh, i know people joke about this game and, and it's become somewhat of a meme it's a terrible game but the graphics are improving for this game like compared to what we had where we couldn't really see much of a level or even much of superman he was like that black kind of silhouette but here we are doing mid-air punches and uh, superman works so after trying Superman, I wanted to stick on the theme of superheroes and I put on Spider-Man and I really did like this Spider-Man and I think this is the same one. Let me know in the comments if uh, I'm incorrect about this, but I think this is the Spider-Man that was on the PS1 and I really, really enjoyed it. The PS1 Spider-Mans, at the time they came out, they were, they were brilliant. Spider-Man 1 and Spider-Man 2, thoroughly enjoyed both of them, completed both of them on the PlayStation 1. Uh, unfortunately, we get to this nice intro, we see some comic book, book stuff at the beginning, but then it just kind of hangs on us but it's still nice to see this nonetheless um yeah i kind of control spider-man and there you go first jump and it crashes uh hopefully we'll check hopefully if i remember i'll check this in the next update because i kind of would like to test this out again okay mario's received some good changes even though he doesn't quite have his eyeballs yet one thing uh, i wanted to point out or show you guys is do you remember is it lakitu lakita or okay when he came around he had like a rectangle around his eyes well that rectangle has now gone and now he has proper eyes just wish if mario had those eyes and the big change uh so if you've been uh sticking around and watching the progress updates you'll see that whenever we enter a level so this is like the first world uh in super mario 64 again i'm not too familiar with this game i just i'm just not a 3d platformy guy it was always 2d for me maybe i'm just too old but uh yeah i never really played this back in the day i know it's a great game i just just can't do 3d platformers anyway getting off topic have a look at now we can see some level now the colors definitely seem incorrect to me but i can kind of see the layout and i can see where i'm going now so again progress with uh, mario 64 would like to try this out when robert puts out a next update which who knows by the time i put this video out uh, there might be another update but you know what it's quite late here now it's half past 11 uh, and robert's in germany with time i think is one hour ahead of me and uh, so he probably it's probably safe to say he won't if he does release one it won't be until like sometime in the day tomorrow or very early in the morning tomorrow who knows the guy's a machine but uh yeah mario 64 is it's looking a lot better we can see the floor and i kind of know where i'm going rather than just kind of guessing where i'm going uh, but that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed this progress update uh and if you did then a subscription and a like is super appreciated take care of yourself take care of each other this is pixel cherry ninja out